All right, uh, still got the solar set in there. We haven't gotten that done. We've had so many other projects. Um, we're still running off the same six. I know you guys already know we bought six more, but haven't done nothing with those yet. What we did do was, don't mind the wiring jumble. Um, all they had was two foot wires. So I had to get two footers. Um, but anyway, we added two more batteries here. Um, I wanna get two more. And we're gonna convert all this over to 48 volt and then get a 48 volt inverter. And this is trying to get those two new ones charged. We're at 13.7 right now. So um, I think I showed you the last time we got another another char 100 amp charge controller. And I think I showed you all the goodies we have there, I think. So I'm showing you again, just in case I didn't. So there's all that stuff. And like I said, I added those two today. What else we do today? Um, Donna made up some new mixes. This is an eight to two, a 10 to two and a 12 to two. Eight parts dirt, two parts Portland cement, and then the same for those. Um, so we just made them today. But as you can see, ah, oh, you guys, it's a beautiful day out here. It's like 78 degrees, 79, something like that. It's just, it's just gorgeous out here today. So we've been outside doing stuff all day. Um, so we got those made up today. We're letting these dry out probably till tomorrow or maybe even next week before we do our little test on those. Um, by the way, this is just kind of an update video in case you guys didn't notice. And then in the chicken coop. Hey girls. There's the girls. There's the other one. And there's Larry. I'm not sure what they're doing. How they're scooping out the dirt. Um, we went and got these guys a little wading pool today. And I know chickens don't necessarily swim, but they said they do like to get their feet and their legs wet when they get hot. So we put this little wading pool in here and dug it down a little bit. Um, it's got like four inches of water, three, four inches of water in it. That way they have somewhere to go to cool off because it's getting warm in here or warm out here. Other than that, the chicken coop, the hen house is holding up extremely well, even in this wind. Um, about the only thing that's happened so far is we lost, uh, we lost one of our, well, I got it back on today, but it's starting to come off again. We did lose one of our little rubber hinges here. So I did go out and buy some hinges. So we'll probably end up just putting regular hinges on those, on the windows. Other than that, the coop itself is holding up well. It's doing good. Um, been giving us three eggs a day. The last couple days, they only gave us one. Um, two of them were being freeloaders. <laughs> that's Larry. Hey, Larry. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's good. He's a good rooster. He's been a good boy. There's Donna. All right, so that's that's the chickens. That's what we've done with the chickens over the last week. Not a whole lot. We had a tarp up over, what, this side today? Yeah. We had a tarp around here just to give them a nice cool spot. They've got this whole side here. And with that wall, I think I told you guys when we put this wall in, we made it solid so it would shade this side in the afternoon to give them a cool spot. Um, but they like to hang out in here. Yeah. So... We put a tarp up around this this afternoon just to give them a cool spot and then they started hanging out out here so makes it a little nicer for them they do use both areas so. yeah yeah they're kind of back and forth between the two okay the big thing is the house not that that's not a house what is that a temporary dwelling uh. all right i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this or not i don't know on the camera can you see the yellow rope i can do what i did earlier you see the, you see the, hold on, you see the yellow cord running around here? So the house is basically 25 foot this way, and it's going to be 30, well, we have it marked out at 35 feet right here. The reason we did this, we, we've got a program called Magic Plan where you can draw it up and walk through it in 3D, and it, it's pretty good. But once we laid it out and started marking out all the walls, we realized the living room wasn't going to be big enough. So we're going from that corner two okay that's three foot there's five foot so we're gonna go that much wider from there to there um just to give us a little more living room and a little more room over here because we've got a parrot and things that we need a place to put his cage blah 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 all right so that mark to that mark is the door we've got a french door that we've already bought so we're gonna have a french door here and as you walk in that'll be five foot that way that'll give us a little dining area a place to put our parrot, a place to put our lizard, and to your left will be the basically the kitchen 
refrigerator. It's small. She wanted a small kitchen. We'll have counters running here, counters running there, counter running over this way, stove, kitchen sink, and then we have a big six foot, um, yeah, the window's two foot tall and six foot wide. It's just a huge pane that's gonna go right here looking out that way, right over the sink. And then as you turn back, that area back there from this corner up to in there somewhere, I think you can see the mark. I'll take you over here. So this little mark we scratched in the ground to the rope. So this way, this will all be basically living room area plus five foot that way more. And that's the part we, once we, once we did, when we did it in 3D, it looked pretty good. But once you come out here and start walking around, you realize, you know, there's not really a, much here. So we're gonna add five feet to it anyway. So that'd be the living room, kitchen area, front door, five foot that way more. Then we're gonna have a hallway right here, which will not be this narrow. The hallway will actually be about three and a half feet wide, but this is just temporary scratches. Um, these two marks will be the bedroom door coming into here, be a wall there. This will be a closet um, Come into here. Dresser, bed, back wall. Bedroom will be like 16 feet by 14. 16 by 14, right around in there. That would be the bedroom size. Okay, so back out in the hallway. Uh, come this way. This would be the bathroom, vanity, tub, toilet, door. That's it for the bathroom. That's all we need. Uh, come down the hallway a little further. Another door. Um, pressure tank, hot water heater washer and dryer electrical panel on this wall and yeah and a door going in here utility room um just a catch-all into the hallway at the end of the house there will be a door here a three-foot door and we originally had the door over in the corner of the living room but it made it a pain for furniture wise so we moved it from there which also looked good on the plan until we laid it out yeah so we decided to put the door here and there's two reasons for that Number one, we get a south-southwest wind all the time. So we'll get good airflow through here, which will go down the hallway. And then we're gonna have probably three windows across that end. So it'll get a good breeze down through here, cross breeze. And the other reason is um, we're planning to build, what do you wanna call it? Kind of a guest house, or possibly if our daughter ever decides to move down here, she'll need a place to live. We're planning on building a, uh, about a 200 square foot because we can do it without a permit under 200 square feet. A 200 square foot um, place out here, kind of like a little studio apartment. So with this door here, we can build a breezeway going over to that and it's not technically part of the house. Um, or we can just have the door going out and then you walk into another door, however. But then we can build out in this area and reconnect or connect back to the house. So that's all we got. That's it. So now all we got to do is get my boss out here to dig this all up for us and we'll be good. Yeah? Yeah, look what we found in our house. That's one of the kids's, <laughs> one of the kids' Nerf darts or Nerf disc. Okay. Okay. So, um, sorry about that. Our son showed up. Um, so that's what we got. So we're going to be 25 feet by 40 feet is what we'll be. That's going to be the final said and done. That's the plan. We're sticking with it. Um, that'll give us this whole side of the house for basically the kitchen, living, and dining, and the bedroom being in the back corner, bathroom over there. I think that's going to be great. It'll work great for us. Um, okay, big plan, or big questions when we're going to do it. So we're doing the Hyper Adobe. The bags are 16 inches wide, and we're going to use the bags for the interior, or the tubes, I guess, for the interior walls, too. But we don't want them 16 inches wide, so I contacted the place in Wisconsin, and he said he can actually make us an 8-inch bag. Um, but he has to wait until March the 31st because he has a big production run going right now. So what we're going to have is we'll have 16 inch um, walls on the outs on the exterior and the interior walls will all be eight inch. So that's how we're going to do that. And um, I've talked to a couple people out here. One of them that's actually already built a Hyper Adobe house, which is a uh, clay great house, which I don't know. Some of you guys that watch us probably know who he is. Um, I was talking to him about doing the interior walls out of the bags, if that would be sufficient to take place of having a buttress on the outside. And like he said, in his opinion, it would also. I would think so too. So if anybody knows anything any different, the only thing I can see is 
you know, the buttress is coming this way instead of going out that way. But I don't think that's going to make a difference because it's still going to be tied into the exterior wall. So I think we're still going to be good there. On these sides of the walls, we're obviously going to have to put a buttress on this side because you need one every 10, 12 feet, something like that. So we'll definitely have to have one on each end of the house. Um, this end, we'll have a wall here. And that'll be it. So we might have to throw a couple buttresses on the back, which is okay because they won't show as bad. I don't mind the look of some, but I don't like buttresses everywhere. This will have a wall here. There will be a wall here. So I think the only thing we have to do here is maybe a buttress on the side of the door here, which won't be a bad thing because it'll kind of block the wind a bit too. So we might just put one on the other side of the French door, this side of the French door. So yeah, so that's it guys. That's a little update just so you guys know what's going on, what we've been doing. Um, tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we might get started on getting that solar, those other six panels installed. Like I said, the six we got now are doing fine. That's why we, we're not in a rush to get the other ones put in, but um, we might start that tomorrow. I don't know if we'll get it finished, but um, if we do, we'll catch you tomorrow when we do that. All right, see ya.